A traditional live rear axle assembly is easily recognizable, and even though most cars today feature front-wheel drive and independent rear suspension, this type of axle was standard on the majority of full-size cars up through the mid-90s. Today, most full-size trucks and vans still utilize this tried-and-true component. Any axle assembly that transfers power through it is considered a live axle, and at a glance, all rear axle assemblies appear similar. They all have a large center section, often nicknamed the pumpkin, which houses the differential. Axle tubes extend out from the center section to flanges on the end, which are equipped with provisions for brake, bearing, and wheel hub mounting. The axles run through the axle tubes to transfer the power from the differential to the wheels. But there are some differences that are helpful to know. A semi-floating axle features one bearing that supports the axle at the end of each axle tube. The wheel is mounted directly to a flange on the axle shaft, and this is the most common type of axle assembly on light-duty cars and trucks. This simple design makes it more economical to produce and easier to maintain, but semi-floating axles have a limited load carrying capacity because the weight of the vehicle is transferred through the axle shaft into the bearing. Full floating axles are designed for heavier loads and tough operating conditions. A full floating axle features two bearings to support the axle shaft and wheels are mounted on a separate hub. This means the weight of the vehicle is supported by the bearings and the wheel hub, not by the axle shaft. Due to their increased durability, these axles are used on heavy duty trucks, buses, and RVs, but they are more difficult to maintain and repair. A three-quarter floating axle is a combination of the two with only one bearing to support the axle shaft, but the bearing location is moved outward for better support and the wheel is also hub mounted. While this design is an improvement on the semi-floating axle, it's not as durable as a full floating axle and it's the least common of all. Pickup trucks frequently come with different axle options depending on their load carrying capacity. So if there's an option when looking up parts, you'll have to identify which type of axle it has. Thanks for watching.